how do you ensure you're making progress in all the aspects of your life? You know, we talk about goal setting here all the time, but when it comes to, like, life is made up of a lot of pieces. It's finances, it's love, it's relationships, it's free time, it's leisure and sleep. But how do you actually track, like, where are you going? Am I moving in the right direction in this quadrant, the wrong direction in that quadrant? Well, in this video, I want to share the process I use on a monthly basis to evaluate where am I going in all the directions of my life and how to actually help you course correct if you're going the wrong way. What's up guys, Alex Hine, author of the book, Master the Day. Now, the first link in the description is to a free journaling worksheet and email course. Now, journaling is the primary method I use to assess my progress in life, to assess the mistakes I'm making and what is holding me back. So you can check out that first link in the description for the free worksheet, the free email course on how to get started today. So the first step that I do each month is that I come up with the six main quadrants of my life as I think of it, and I rate them from one to three. So the six primary quadrants are happiness, finances, fun and leisure or rest, relationships and love, health and fitness, and contribution. Now, when I say rate them from one to three, the reason why I don't use a 10 point scale is that I find it's just really difficult to understand where I am one to 10. And one to three is much more simple. A one indicates something is obviously wrong and I'm not getting good results. Two is, it's okay, it could keep going that way and everything would be fine. And a three is, it's doing amazing. I'm killing it in that part of life. Now the second step for me to evaluate my progress report so far for the month is that I write down the top three habits that I've been engaging in on a daily basis in that quadrant of my life. So again, remember, the whole point of my book, Master the Day, you look at the daily rituals you're doing and you can predict where you will go in life. And what I do is I've obviously some parts of your life are 10 habits for fitness or for happiness, but I try to find the three most important. And then I just write them down on a piece of paper and it tends to look like this. So happiness may be, do I do what I love for work? Do I spend enough time with people every day? Do I get enough rest and relaxation? Finances might be, do I track expenses? Do I save 10% of my income? And do I increase my salary each year? Fun and leisure or rest may be, do I limit my hours I work? Do I actually take vacations? And do I not work on the weekend? Relationships and love might be, do I have a date night twice a week with my girlfriend? Do I call my parents on the weekend? And do I hang out with friends at least twice per week? Health and fitness may be, do I cook daily? Do I go to the gym four to five days a week? And do I do meditation or qigong five times a week for at least 20 minutes? And then contribution may be, do I give 10% of my income to my family or charity? Do I do one random act of kindness per week? And am I working on being more present for my friends and not being in a rush on a daily basis? So right now we have the ratings of each of these quadrants. I have the habits I've been doing in each of these quadrants. And then the third step is I evaluate. So if I said I give myself a one in finances, was I actually doing those habits? And if so, maybe those habits need changing. So maybe, you know, I wrote down, do I track my expenses on a daily basis? Well, actually, to get the best financial results, it turns out I just need to be earning a lot more money to be able to save the way I want. And that tracking my expenses, that habit wasn't good enough. Or that maybe with contribution, my goal was to contribute 10% of my income to charity or to my family, and I just wasn't doing it. And I had to decrease it. Maybe I just do 5% because that's what I can consistently do every single month. And the last step, finally, is... If you know, first of all, this is a good habit. I know this works to help me be fit, be happy, be fulfilled, be well rested, do good in school or at work, to do well. If you know that's the right habit, then you keep it for the next month forward and you just do a better job tracking it on a daily basis. But if you did the habits and you weren't really sure if it did anything, then you need to reevaluate and figure out, okay, now going into the fifth month of the year, May, what specific habits do I need to change from this quadrant? So you see what I'm saying? You evaluate it, one, two, three. You look at the habits in the quadrants so that you're very specific about what you're doing. And then you evaluate, if it worked, 
keep doing it. If it didn't, then maybe change it or maybe you try it again for another month to see your results. And that is the way that I primarily assess my progress and just get a snapshot. I want to be able to sneak, take a sneak peek at that pie every month and know, okay, I was struggling in contribution last month. I need to really work on that this month. And then that informs my weekly habits and my weekly goals. So I hope that helps. Again, don't forget the first link in the description is how I use journaling to figure out what to do in my life, find my passion, reach my goals, and do all that really cool stuff. So if you click the first link in the description, you'll get a free journaling worksheet and you'll also get an email series on how I use journaling to radically change my life. And you can get my last two videos right there and right there.